So the James Bond producer has finally come out and laid this issue to rest over whether James Bond can be a woman or not and I think all of us who've grown up loving James Bond as a character, who've watched the many decades of movies that James Bond has been in, we all know that James Bond was written and has developed as a, as a male character. He's a character that has been played by many male actors in the past, people have loved. You know, at the box office, he has completely surpassed records. You know, every few films that they've put out with James Bond, he's a character that is specifically known, um, you know, to have male characteristics. He is a male. And, you know, he was written as a male, by a male, and that's who he's supposed to be as a character. Personally, I have nothing wrong with a female spy being created within the James Bond landscape. So, like, a new spy, a new double O, you know, for a female to play. I think that would be a great idea, and it looks like they're doing that. Uh, with the new film, with No Time to Die, obviously they've got uh, the new actress in there who's being who's been cast alongside Bond to play another Double O. So it looks like they're kind of setting that up. But the James Bond producer Barbara Broccoli has basically come out and said he can be of any colour, but he is male. I believe we should be creating new characters for women, strong female characters. I'm not particularly interested in taking a male character and having a woman play it. I think women are far more interesting than that. And I think she she nailed it on the head she said something that I quite frankly can't believe is an argument between film fans I know look I understand people want more diversity with like you know sp especially in the James Bond franchise with characters but like she said you know you can create a new character for that and I have nothing wrong with you know a person of color playing James Bond I think that would be a great idea I think someone like Idris or who they've suggested which I don't think will get the role but you know I, I think there, there are other actors out there who could do as good as job if not better than someone like Idris Elba. I think Idris Elba may be a great Bond but I don't think necessarily we should be fan casting actors into the role of James Bond. We should actually you know for whatever the film is going to be we should cast actors around that rather than fan cast the film and that's something that I don't want to see. Um, but regardless of that, as I said, I think a person of colour playing James Bond would be a great idea. I think you could get some great actors in there to play him. But then the idea of casting a female actor in the role of James Bond is something that, quite frankly, I just don't think is needed. We can create new characters for actresses. We don't have to revolve around, you know, split putting a woman in the role of James Bond just for di the sake of diversity when that character was specifically written as a man with male traits. And there's nothing wrong with that. People love James Bond for being a man. That's who he is. That's what makes his character and the decisions he makes in the film, you know, revolve around his male characteristics as well. So I don't necessarily think it would be a great idea. It would just be so fragmenting to the James Bond, you know, community and the fans who have watched these films over decades. And there's this argument at the minute that it's only middle-aged men that are upset with this and stuff like that. I don't, I don't get why they are being targeted because at the end of the day people of this generation have grew up like myself with Daniel Craig and Pierce Brosnan being Bond and they have been you know great in their roles and great in their performances of Bond and they are you know men and I'm a younger man watching a male character so it's not just you know middle aged men who are angry uh, that they want to cast that well supposedly people said that they wanted to cast a female actress as James Bond but now that we've actually got the producer come out and say this I think it puts that to rest entirely it says that she you know who's directed many or sorry produced many James Bond films over the last few decades has obviously you know with her saying that completely underlines the point that I think all James Bond fans of all ages have tried to make that James Bond is a male character. You can create a new spy in the James Bond landscape, but don't ruin the idea of what James Bond is for the sake of diversity. And I think that is, you know, a great thing to hear from the producer who fully understands what James Bond is, is as a character. And it's nice to actually hear someone come out and say it as it is and how it should be, you know, without upsetting people who want diversity in films, which I have no problem with. Just don't ruin characters that are supposed to be male and were conceived as male characters with male traits. And again, as I said, 
I don't mind a person of colour playing Bond, and that's basically what she's come out and said. Uh, Broccoli herself, she's come out and basically said that, you know, she doesn't mind, you know, a person of colour playing Bond, and that's how it should be, I think, in the eyes of Bond fans, in the eyes of, you know, people who surround the film and work on the film. Uh, but yeah, that's that's my opinion on this whole issue. I know a lot of people were talking about it, so I thought I'd give my input into the whole James Bond as a woman conversation, which is obviously finally put to rest by Bond. Barbara Broccoli. Thank God she's come out and said something. And I, I think even there was some talk online that Daniel Craig has supported that, um, you know, message that she put out. So it's good to hear that from the people who actually work on the Bond films and have made a success or a continuing success out of James Bond as a character. But anyway, that's my opinion on the issue. Let me know down below what you think of all this James Bond stuff. I'll leave an article down below if you guys want to check out and read Broccoli's comments for yourself. Uh, I think it's a very interesting conversation, but it's one that really shouldn't have been had uh, in the first place, but it was always going to happen with today's, you know, continuing woke culture, which is taking over the media and taking over, you know, just entertainment in general. But let me know down below what you think. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check out some of my other content I've been doing. We've got plenty of stuff coming up on the channel soon. I'm also debating on whether to start a new show on my channel, like a weekly show. So like, you know, a 30 minute show every week where I talk about uh, movie news and stuff that you guys send in to me. So let me know if you want to see that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I've been Cortex and as always, make some noise.